Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we've just got back from our little short break to uh, the new forest, just to try the van out really. So what I've discovered on the van is that I need to make some changes. Um, the shower, I need to change the mixer in the shower because uh, it's just constantly hot water all the time. Uh, every time we turn the cold water on, it either got too cold or it was too hot. Um, so we couldn't quite get that to work properly so I bought a different shower mixer for that which I'm going to be putting in today um, also I'm going to be moving the fridge from where it is and putting underneath the cooker um, because we've discovered that the bed is a little bit too high and we kept hitting our heads on the overhead cabinets so I'm also going to be changing that uh, also the waste system the waste tank um, I need to do something with that as well um, it keeps blocking up on the uh, tap on the outlet for draining it out so I think the pipe for the drain is a bit too small so I'm going to be changing that to a larger pipe um, and that's about it really um, so let me go and show you what the uh, the shower mixer is that I've got at the moment and then the one that I will be putting in so at the moment th this is the type of shower mixer we got in here at the moment uh turn it on here um, and you can adjust the temperature on this one uh, what we found was it wasn't actually adjusting the temperature it was either too hot or too cold we couldn't get it to the right temperature so i'm going to be swapping that one out to a different type um, as for the fridge well the fridge is down there under the bed i'm going to be moving that to un inside this cupboard here then I'm going to drop the height of the bed because as you can see, excuse the mess, um, we've only just got back and I've just chucked things everywhere. As you can see, the gap we got between the bed and the overhead cupboard, uh, we just kept smacking our heads. So I'm going to be dropping that down by about the height of the fridge there, which should be sufficient enough. So I'm just going to go ahead and start doing that. Oh, and as you can see, I repainted the cupboard doors and I've done them in a silver white. So let's just go ahead and start doing some of that. Right guys, so this is the type of shower mixer I'm gonna be putting in now. See, it's basically a cold and hot water tap. Um, so this is the one that I'm gonna be going to try. I will leave a link for this in the description. Um, it's quite cheap, so if it works, it works. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and fit that and see how that works. So guys, you're not really going to be uh, able to see much of me taking this mixer unit off in the shower. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll fit the new shower mixer and then I'll show you what it looks like after. Right guys, that's the new shower mixer put on. As you can see, there's the cold and the hot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the water heater on and everything and give that a go and see what it's like and whether I can adjust the temperature because uh, the problem with the old one is we couldn't adjust the temperature it was either a, a hot shower or a cold shower and when I say hot I mean to the point where you couldn't get in it okay guys so that's the fridge taken out um, I'm going to put it in here under the cooker um, just behind this cupboard door I might have to take the cupboard door out for it to fit um, so I'm just going to go ahead and try and suss that out and then I'll get back to you.
Okay guys, so that's the bed now lowered. Uh, it's lowered quite a bit, um, as you can see. Uh, before, the mattress was up level with the window here. It's now down a bit, so that gives us plenty more room now to sleep in. Hopefully we don't start banging our heads again. Um, I've also moved the fridge now to under the cooker, which is just there. I've just got to wire that one up, uh, put all the cables in for that. Um, next job that I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to sort out around this kitchen unit um, on the walls. I've got these um, mosaic tiles, which I'm going to be sticking on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that next. There you go guys, all the kitchen tiling done, them sticky back tiles, I'm quite happy with that. Um, the only thing I left to do on the kitchen now is to change the worktop uh, to a, like a dark oak or something like that.